we are asked to determine if the two lines passing through the given points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. To determine this, we will determine the slopes of the lines passing through the given points, and then if the slopes are equal, the lines are parallel. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another, the lines are perpendicular. And if the slopes are not equal, nor negative reciprocals, then the answer is neither. To determine the slope, we will determine the change of y divided by the change of x, and because we have ordered pairs, we will use the formula, the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, to determine the change of y divided by the change of x. Let's call the slope of the first line m sub one, and to keep things organized, let's call the first ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. So the quantity y sub two minus y sub one is four minus seven, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, which gives us one minus negative three. And now simplifying, four minus seven is negative three. In the denominator we have one minus negative three, which is equivalent to one plus three, which is equal to four. The first line has a slope of negative three-fourths. And now to determine m sub two, the slope of the second line. And again, we'll let the first ordered pair be x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair be x sub two comma y sub two. The quantity y sub two minus y sub one is one minus negative two, and x sub two minus x sub one is negative seven minus negative three. One minus negative two is equivalent to one plus two, and negative seven minus negative three is equivalent to negative seven plus three. One plus two is three, and negative seven plus three is negative four. The slope of the second line is also negative three-fourths. So because these slopes are equal, and the two lines are not the same, the two lines are parallel. And let's go ahead and check this graphically. The first line is the blue line passing through the two given points. The second line is the red line passing through the two given points. And the two lines are parallel, meaning they never intersect. I hope you found this helpful.